Hi, I'm Cora, the Surfer Dog Kid. Today we are going to be looking at page speed and how to make your site quicker. So correct. So today we're going to go over how to make your site quicker, but one specific element, how to eliminate render blocking JavaScript, which is slowing down your website. In this video, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to quickly fix this for free if your website is built using WordPress. The principles are the same for any platforms. Uh, they might the plugins and the strategy might differ slightly, but this is for mainly people using WordPress. We all know that page speed is important, whether that's for SEO, PPC, UX, it's important, and it's one of the biggest issues if you look at platforms like Web.dev for slowing down your site. SEM Rush audit tool, if you link in Google Analytics, has got a beta thing which now tells you where real users have any issues with page speed on specific pages. Screaming Frog, you can connect into their API into page speed insights and get page by page uh, speed data. So you can see again at a page level which pages are slow and which ones are fast. I don't really want to get into why this is important or even the tech behind it. Um, I just want to give you a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to fix this. If you're interested in, in the tech or why it's important, a quick Google search will tell you everything you need to know. There's smarter people out there than me that can explain this much better than I can. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the how to fix it, but not the why. So for this to work, we're going to need one plugin for WordPress, and it's free, and one website to generate you some critical CSS. There's several out there. Uh, the one I'm about to show you, I use about 60% of the time, uh, but I can pretty much follow these uh, instructions step by step. So if I'm doing it on someone else's machine, I'll just type in critical path CSS generator and I'll just use the first one that pops up. So they all do roughly the same thing anyway. So as you can see from my screen here, I've got web.dev open and you can see my pretty, score is pretty bad. Performance is 33. Um, as you can see, it was pretty good, but I made it bad for this video. So what if we scroll down on here, we can see that one of the big issues is eliminating render blocking resources. And why did I decide to do this video? Well, basically I asked in uh, the Facebook group, SEO, uh, on page rocks, technical SEO made easy, if people were struggling with this issue and if they wanted a quick video on how to fix it, because it's pretty much e quite easy to do. So here is the video. If technical SEO is something you want to do or learn more about, definitely join the group and ask away any questions. But let's get started. So let's go to the site. Uh, on page rocks, this is the site. Lovely me there. Uh, I think you'll see the server like it halfway down if we scroll far enough down. There he is, look. So yeah, so this is the site. And if you view source, you can see the, here's the CSS that's causing the issue. Mine, unlike 95% of the world's websites out there, has two uh, CSS files. So when I show you the results at the end, it's not going to be 100% perfect because I'm only going to fix the top one. This is going to be a follow-up video which if your site does fall into a small 5% on how to fix both. But this will, for the majority of years, for 95% of years, this will fix it once and for all. So, I'm not going to go through how to install plugins on your site or even how, because if you don't know that by now, then a quick Google search or a quick YouTube search will show you how to do that. I'm going to assume you know how to install plugins. So, I've go ahead, I've already installed Alt to Optimize. Uh, it is in settings or to optimize the uh, it's hidden behind the uh, let me just move ourselves to this side I can't click on it because of us too and it was already installed so uh, some of the things I got ticked in here might won't come ticked but as you can see I've ticked we want to optimize JavaScript code, uh, aggregate all the inline CS JS files, same with the CS files, just tick the ones that are relevant to you. It might need a bit of testing. I should have said at the start of this video, before you make any of these changes, make sure you've got a backup of your site, just in case something does break and then you can revert back to it. I never try and do this on the live site without testing first. And if I do do it straight onto a live site, I always make sure there's a backup in case I need to roll back. That's for any change I make on WordPress. This rarely causes any issues, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. 
and, sp and if you're doing this for the first time and you're really unsure, maybe create a dev site, a testing site to build this on. Something that's not gonna, if you do mess up. So we've got it ticked. So the one way we really need to tick is this inline and defer CSS. Because if we go back to web.dev, it's eliminate render blocking resources and this is what's causing the issue. So if we tick that, it now brings up this box here we need to input some information. So we'll go across to uh, Pegasus. This is one we mainly use, but there is multiple other ones out there. Uh, I will put the the URL below as well. But basically all you do is come over here, type in your URL, click that, wait a few seconds. Um, it goes off and does all the magic work for you. So this is a few seconds. It's just loading. So while it's just loading, we'll just wait for it. Oh, there we go, done already. So just we want to copy the, all of that code back into here, paste it, scroll down, save and clear cache. And remember, we've got to clear all our caches for this because otherwise, when we check the tweet in a minute, it won't have it. Just let me just clear it. We have a few caches for different things. And then finally. So now we've cleared all our caches and we've fixed that issue. So if we go back to web.dev and we click on run audit. So just see how the score was 33. Wait for it to run. As you see, I'm doing this in real time so it takes a few seconds to run. Remember, if you look at this one, it's in high high performance red here. And when this has done its magic, so it's just running up to 49. But that has now dropped down to the medium level because that second one's still there. For you, it'll be completely gone. Uh, you, you'll probably see a bigger jump than that because I've still got it as a medium issue. But yeah, that's basically it. That's all you need to do to eliminate it. If you've only got the one uh, line, it'll jump up massively. Um, th we are about to do another video later this week, which is, if we scroll down here, I don't know if we'll see it quickly, but Google Fonts, ironically, is not very good for page speed. It loads in multiple resources you don't need and actually slows down your site. So if you're interested in how to, again, for free, fix the Google Fonts issue on your site, join our Facebook group on Page Rocks, Technical SEO Made it Easy, or subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll get that video up later this week on how to fix Google Fonts and make your site that a little bit quicker. Thanks for now.